video, we will solve the problem 4-14 from RC Ballard and Jennings Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have given a situation in which the pillar gets hit by the new force of 50 LB which is P and the net force generated is F and we have to determine the magnitude of this force F. And we have also given the condition that it is counterbalancing that the force F is producing the counterbalancing moment about A. So the sum of the moment of all these forces is equal to 0. Okay. To solve this problem, first of all we have to resolve these forces into their components. So for the force P, I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Similarly, for force F, I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Like this, let's label them. This component is P sine 60. Sorry, it is P cos 60. And this component is P sine 60. Also, this component is F sine 30. And this horizontal component is F cos 30. I can also draw the projection of the horizontal component components like this. Same for this force F. Let's label them too. This is also the projection of the above horizontal component. So it is P sine 60 degrees and this one is P sorry F cos 30 degrees now we have to sum up the moments about point A and it is counterbalancing moment so the sum of the moments about point A by all these forces is 0 So if we look at the figure for force P, the horizontal component which is the P sine 60 and it has a moment arm about point A of 4 inches vertical distance. And then it is trying to rotate the horizontal component is trying to rotate about point A clockwise so we are taking it as positive and if you look at the vertical component which is trying to rotate about point O as counterclockwise so we are taking it negative it is P cos 60 and the moment arm about point A is 2 inches this long which is given and the force F the vertical component is passing through the pivot point which is point A so it has no moment arm so the only moment producing component of force F is the horizontal component which is the F cos theta and F cos 30 and it is producing counterclock clockwise moment so we are taking it as negative so it is F cos 30 and the moment arm about point A is 6 inches so we are writing it 6 here is equals to 0 now 
we are given the force P which is 50 LB so F is equal to 50 sine 60 into 4 plus 50 cos 60 into 2 divided by cos 30 into 6 F is equals to 173.21 plus minus 50 cos 60 into 2 is equal to 50 divided by 5.196 so f is equal to 23.71 lb this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. Thank you.